Hey everyone, so in this video we have a group. Uh, this is the additive group of integers modulo 4. And here we have a cyclic subgroup. So addition here takes place modulo 4, right? So if you're not familiar with this, um, 2 plus 3, for example, is 5, right? But the question is, uh, when you divide 5 uh, by 4, what's the remainder? So 4 goes into 5 one time, the remainder is 1. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 1 in this group. Um, 2 plus 2 uh, is 4. But 4 goes into 4 one time, the remainder is 0, so 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 in this group. Um, 1 plus 1 is 2, um, 1 plus 3, well that's 4, but we know 4 is equal to 0, etc. Uh, in this group, um, you know, 2 is the same thing as 6, which is the same thing as uh, 10, etc. So some textbooks, they won't use numbers here, they'll use equivalence classes, that's fine. But as long as you know in your mind that each of these numbers can represent infinitely many numbers that have that same property, um, you're good, right? You can think of these as the representatives of the equivalence classes, if you know what those are. Anyways, uh, 2 is the same as 6, right? Because 4 goes into 2 0 times and the remainder is 2. 4 goes into 6 one time, and the remainder is 2. 4 goes into 10 two times, right? Two times. 4 times 2 is 8, and the remainder is 2, and so on. So these are the remainders that you get when you divide a number by 4. That's what these are. H here is called a cyclic group. It's a cyclic subgroup. It's all the powers of 2. So uh, in this case, 2 plus 2 is 4, which is 0. So 0 is in this group, and then 2 is in the group. Uh, 4, 4 is there, but 4 is 0. 6, 6 is in this group, but remember 6 is equal to 2 modulo 4, right? Because 4 goes into 6 one time, the remainder is 2. Okay, so in this question, what I wanted to do, in this example, rather, in this video, is just to compute the cosets, right? Compute the right cosets of H in this group, okay? So if you call this G, the question would say in a book maybe, compute the right cosets of H and G. So how do you compute cosets? Well, you just, you just keep adding, right? Here the operation is addition modulo uh, 4. So you add. So H is one group. That's one of the cosets. It's 0, 2. And then H plus 1. So we're adding it. So uh, 0 plus 1 is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So we're still good. Right? Modulo 4, we're still good, right? I mean, 4 goes into those numbers 0 times the, the remainders. These guys are in Z4, no problem. H plus 2 h plus 2, let's see, so 0 plus 2 is, is 2, and then 2 plus 2 is 4, but that's 0, so we get back to h, right, we get back to h. If you look at h plus 3, right? if you look at h plus 3, what happens here is that, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see what happens, so you get 0 plus 3, so you get 3, okay, and then 2 plus 3 is 5. But 5 is equal to 1 modulo 4, right? So this is 1. Because 4 goes into 5 one time, the remainder is 1. Let's do another one. I think that's going to be it. If we do h plus 4, if we do h plus 4, we get 0 plus 4, which is 4, which is 0. We get 2 plus 4, which is 6, right? And so that's actually equal to 2. So this is equal to the same thing as h. So it looks like what are our cosets in this problem? Looks like it's h. And the other coset here would just be h plus 1. Look at that. 0, 2, 1, 3. 0, 2, 1, 3. Same thing, right? So h and h plus 1. I wasn't really thinking. I guess I could have, could have stopped before this, but just, you know, just add them up, and then when you notice that things are repeating, that's it. So those would be the right cosets of h and g. So how do you find them? You just start writing stuff down and adding, and it's usually pretty simple. So I hope that helps.